started. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this demo that uh, presents document sync job. And it's a new job in TOT deployment. Uh, the main reason why we introduced it was to sync automatically data from one deployment to another. So an example can be uh, that we compute data in stage environment that is much larger and can be used for uh, data aggregation and computing this data. And then this document sync job uh, is configured to sync this data to uh, broad deployment or any other uh, deployment uh, uh, that you would like to uh, use. Uh, this, it's important to note that this um, job syncs only, uh, only documents, so JSON files that are present on Ceph, and uh, the data that are uh, available in the database, like synced uh, data, uh, they are managed uh, using backups. Uh, you can find implementation in document sync job, and I think Hashart can give you more details about the deployment and how it operates. And isn't going like any direction, so so we can really say just sync this to that environment and it's happening. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Uh, thanks for that question. Uh, it's a good segue to the deployment part. Uh, so we have thought to deploy it as a cron job, so that it's it's, uh, it's syncing the knowledge every day. So we have created a cron job which runs daily, and it has these environment variables which you can set up to specify what's the source destination. Sorry, what is the source and the destination? So from one cluster to another. Uh, so let's see the like uh, you can find all the information in under dot application dot document sync job. Uh, we just need to create a uh, so you just need to provide the environment variables and the secret. Secret is the destination credentials like uh, the a. So for its example, it's a Ceph. So you need to provide the uh, access key ID and the secret key ID. So those kind of secrets. So those are the only requirement here, and we have already deployed it. Uh, because it's a cron job, so it will only run like on the designated schedule. So I'll just create a job for you so that we can see it running. So not changing anything, just the value here. So I've just copy pasted from the cron job, the job, uh, the part of the job template. And let me just align this. It seems correct. So I started, it. it's going to start a pod. Let's look. Uh, wait for it to just uh, get the node and get started. And what it will do is exactly how Frida explained, it will try to uh, look at current document and see if it's available in the destination. If it says it says already present or else, it will start uh, syncing it again. Uh, so that's what we had. Uh, and if you have any more questions, let us know. Thank you. Uh, not a question, but uh, just a fill in for my um, um, a brain full of knowledge holes. Um, if the documents are synced on Ceph, then there is another cron job picking up and syncing the documents in the database, correct? Yes, that's the, the graph sync job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Yes, and it's important to state what documents we copy. So we don't copy all the documents that are available in uh, in uh, the deployment, but we copy only documents that show data that are exposed on API endpoints or are required uh, by the system to operate internally. So solver documents, container image analysis, and documents that uh, can map uh, container image SHA to container image analysis. Okay, cool. Thanks for that one. Any other questions? No, thank you.